Hello guys, how's it going? Here is the CS student again and today we're going to be doing this challenge called Most Cookies. Alright, so let's go straight into it. It's from Pico CTF 2021 Web Exploitation and as you can imagine it's cookies like last time. I don't know if you guys remember the previous um, video, there was one called Only Cookies. This one is a very similar one and if you haven't watched it, just make sure to watch it so you can understand what's going on. Now, there there is this website and you get to basically choose um, what cookie you're going to use, right? And they actually mean cookies in this website, but we're meaning other kind of cookies. So we're going to go to inspect and we're going to go to application and I want you to check something, right? Let's just go sneaker through as usual and check this. It might change, it might not, okay? So as you can see, it changed to something else and it, we don't actually know what it is, right? But we can tell that it looks like base64 a little bit. So we're gonna do echo this and then just base64 the code. And as you can see, it throws out very odd a sneaker to rule and then some gibberish that it cannot understand. So if we actually just get this part, this is this alone, this part, is up to here only so let me just do it again so i can prove you guys that is the case and as you can see it is that right so anyways now your question might be like okay cool well how can i how, how can i like get the the thing to pass right and they also actually give us some code so i'm gonna open this and actually hold up let me quickly just new one cd temp i already got it before so new by server actually and then because server all right and i'm gonna zoom out a little bit and as you can see okay it's a flask application and there there is a lot of stuff going on here right they create this flag value which is basically a file and they open it and read it right and that's that's what we're actually aiming for and then the title of the website is just most cookies and then cookie names all a bunch of cookies right but now i want you to keep an eye on this and i'll come back to this part and it's the secret key the secret key is something that you should declare on flask apis sorry flask applications in which allows you to secure sessions uh, because every session or every cookie in this case session uh, will be encrypted based on your secret key. So your secret key can be something like, like, let me just copy this and paste it and just, what should I do? Let's put it like this. Okay, for now, let's just put it like this and just comment this out, okay? So let's mind that I put a string. Normally you will put bytes or something very long, right? Super weak. Like let's just put something like weak, right? Okay, so there is an issue with this and it's just a four letter word, right? So anyone can crack that because it's pretty easy, just four letters, uh, no brainer, right? But now what if I put like something like this? So that becomes nearly impossible to do, right? So that's the point of secret key and it should be pretty secure. And also we can tell that it's one of these. We, we got access to the code. So if we didn't get access, it will be a completely different thing, but it's still doable, right? So now they give you endpoints, which is the main one, which is this one, the, when you get to the, to the website alone, which is this one. And they tell you like, well, okay, if the session very off, then, um, you'll declare one, right? <clears throat> and then you'll render index and you will send the title. Also, you will make a response otherwise and just send them to display, okay? And if they don't have that, then you redirect them. If they don't have a session called very auth, you redirect them to, to forward slash and you assign them a session which is blank. And I'll come, I can prove you that. Let's just reset this and <clears throat> Let's copy this. Let me open a new window just in case. Echo 
page 64 of the code and as you can see it says blank all right because i logged out and i it's basically like telling them that i don't have any session right anyways this is not the important bit but it's good to understand what's going on then there comes the search part which in my opinion is not very important right not not nothing really interesting it's just displaying oh that doesn't appear to be a valid cookie if it's not a valid cookie or something else pretty 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 straightforward right and then reset which just sets very off to none or yeah deletes very off and that's it and this one is the important chunk over here display every time you search for something it will get your cookie your session called very off and the thing that's going to happen is going to check if it's admin and if it's admin it's going to render you the flag with the flag value which is what we want and otherwise it's going to tell you that it's a cookie not very special though um, that's it and give you a success response right and it will render anything that is not the flag so we want to be in this piece over here all right so how do we get there we will need to find out first of all in order to crack these ones to crack these sessions we need to find out what um how to say it what what's the secret key and the secret key is one of these ones one of these um cookies over here so what are we gonna do all right i'm gonna show you two ways you can do this one is more manual and it's good for understanding and the second one is just using a tool right let's start with the tool because i know a lot of people will just go for it uh, something that you will need to install is called flask on sign flask yeah flip install flask hold on flask on sign yep it tree install flask on sign you have to run it and that's it i already have it as you can tell it says already satisfied and second thing that you will need to do is flask on sign and then you can do the code you can put the cookie and you can put this and you can see it says blank right what it, what this is doing is it's a tool that basically uh, decodes cookies from flask applications and as you can see it decoded that now we have decoded that but we also need to crack it because we cannot just change this bit over here to very auth and admin because it won't work and i can prove it to you actually echo dash n very auth admin by 64 i can chuck this in and i only need to replace before the dot okay and if i refresh as you can see nothing happened because it's not a valid cookie all right anyways let's go back to the flask on sign right so now there is another command from flask on sign that says on sign actually um but you need a word list and the word list that i have is called cookies and i'll show you cut uh, pico uh, temp pico cookies and it just contains all these ones which this is going to be my word list my my possible secret key right okay so let's go to flask on sign on sign and then we're going to do word list we're going to select the cookies and we're going to pass the cookie which we got it's um let's just refresh so i can get an empty cookie the one with the blank and we can put this here and then on sign what this is going to do is going to try every possible word in the word list as we mentioned before and it's going to check which one is valid and <clears throat> at the end it will return you which one is valid and that's it from there you can create your own cookie based on on that and vasco also this this application this um this tool allows you to create a cookie and then that's it so we're going to run it and it says there you go it found a secret key with the after 28 attempts and it's peanut butter cool now what what can we do since we know that it's peanut butter okay you have two options one you can go to a flask application and make your own um your own cookie it's not hard really you just set up the secret key and then you create a session copying the same steps as the program they give you and just set it to auth admin and copy the value and paste it on the on the browser and then there you go but we don't want that 
all right so what are we going to do is we are going to use this program for now on sign and then will be sign cookie very admin and the secret has to be peanut butter because we already found the key right and this is what the payload we need perfect so we're going to copy this and this should be your cookie so now if i copy and paste this the challenge will be already solved and there you go guys so that's one way for those that are willing to understand the second way which is more like code based not really just tool reliant just stay for a little bit longer okay so i made this application um on flask as you might uh as you might see i'll show you uh mbm up the one all right here you go what what is this doing? okay it's literally the same as the previous application but i had to add something else which is called secure cookie interface secure cookie session interface and i'll explain why all right as you can see i don't have apt.secret key here right because i need to try all of this and it will be impossible for me to try them one by one well no actually it's possible but it's just tedious try them one by one by changing the session key and generating the 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 session value it will be quite annoying so what did i do is i set up this instead which allows me to change the secret key over the program running time right so what do i mean okay so you know how my list is called cookie names over here cookie names yep so i'm saying for secret key in cookie names basically what i'm saying is like you're going to change every secret key the app.secret key for this value and what that's going to do is going to change every time every loop is going to change the secret key and it's going to do the serialization which is something that i'm not going to get into it but basically is required for the sessions to work because that's how cookies work in flask and then it's going to create this payload it's going to put this payload in the in the cookie right which is the one we want after that it's going to show me the data i need to use the function dump so i can get it and it's going to set the cookie as that a secret key the secret key is just going to be the name of the cookie and the cookie data is going to be the actual session and i do that so i can see it right and after that after you finish everything is just actually this is uh yeah there you go shouldn't be there yeah that's better and after that it's just gonna return down after it finishes the 28 cookies or so but the reason why we use this again just in case you didn't get it this part over here sorry the secure cookie session interface is because if i don't use it I cannot change the secret key over the program running why because this is meant to be constant over the whole program running running time yeah so let's go with that and let's run flask run flask uh, run and i'm gonna open a it's running on port 2000 no it's running on port 5000 sorry curl local host and i might make this side a little bit smaller and redo it again because it looks a little bit ugly and out of size and as you can see it generates all the cookies for them and we know that the right one is peanut butter right obviously you can do something else you can make in the program that i made you can add a little part that sends requests with the right cookie and that can be also a way to do it but in my case what i did is like every single one it generates the 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 session for it right so we already know that it's peanut butter and i can prove you that one because if we copy this one and then we go to reset and then we paste it back we can see that it's also correct all right guys this is all from me i hope you guys like the video and put a, put any questions if you have so all right bye